Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Remnants of the Precursors, where we have a bunch of stuff going on to the west and north. That's true, that's very exciting. We have more views of the Gearhead, who appear to have just kind of overtaken the western part of this fractal leaf map. We have the Cylons, who've been teching like crazy, the Mechlar, who've been doing something, but our path back into this game is going to try to cut through the early game, who we have already taken two planets from. We have one enemy that is on the horizon here and we've seen the drachmas already uh the drachmas are i mean they have missiles and those missiles can do some work but i'm not even that scared of 28 of them and it doesn't look like they're moving around you're trying to reinforce here so i do have another force here at the sure why not and some rocket buddies i have considered splitting them up but i think for now i'm gonna hold on to having a big lump sum because I can't see who's over here. I can't see. Apparently apparently they have 200 huge ships. Which is definitely a lot more than what we have. Or 200 large ships. Like our navy is relatively small but if we look at the status here um, our power is going up. Our fleet strength is catching up. I think if we can knock out one of those things it's going to be a pretty good day because right now we have uh, this stack continuing to build. This stack looking pretty good as Neo Saros is churning things out. And the only thing stopping uh, Neo New Earth from getting at this faster is the fact that this does have to fly through a nebula. So it's taking five years to get there, whereas it could be a little bit more. So maybe when I get a second Dreadstar mech torpedo ship up here, I move in. But I think one of the important points for where I'm at in this game is that I did a timing push to attack now like we have gauss autocannons intergalactic stargates we're just doing basic follow-up research here so we're going to keep letting things build like atmospheric terraforming converts hostile environments to normal environments i think that would be a really good boon because as you all know i have numerous hostile planets like almost all of my initial colonies or colonizable locations were hostile. The Mechlar took these. Although, once again, it's interesting that the Mechlar are kind of mustering on my border. We'll have to see what this turns into. And I do have a defense ship over Neo Brax right now. So, something to keep an eye on. For now, we're going to see if we can kind of meet somewhere over here. Um, e is obviously a good place to possibly go to. Um... I'm not exactly sure which one is their capital. Quick would be interesting, and that doesn't fit the name stuff at all, but it's fine. Okay, so how do we want to do this? We're going to wait again to move you. We don't have any colony ships here. We have two colony ships going over here. We have one more colony ship right now. So maybe, how long would it take you? It'd take you 15 years to build one of those. So that's not great. How long does it take to build a sure why not? Because that would also be fairly supportive. Let's build a few more colony ships first. I want to push until it looks like I'm going to run into trouble defending places. We already have transports incoming for all these things. Man, when I do my next save when this game comes out, I'm really going to miss the auto governor uh, from the modded thing. But it's okay. I've been... It's been nice being able to focus on just playing. So let's hit the next turn button here. So look, we got all this shit building. We have new max population, new population, new population, new population. So that's all, that's all pretty good. I actually meant to move you all over here. So how many turns is that going to take? Two years. So they'll have an opportunity to muster defense. These guys are parked right here. Maybe I go after, let's laugh about this now. Let's laugh about together. Neo BM. Old BM, same as the new BM, I guess. All right, well, we have two more colony ships here. We're going to leave them on standby because we can always move them should it come to that. These places are not going to grow until we get people in here, and that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, you're going to take a little bit of time. So, yeah, we're just going to keep on leveling here. I will invest for the moment in Neo New Earth, knowing that... I need to invest in some of my new colonies soon. But I'm very curious about what the Mechlar are doing. As we saw last episode, if I vote for the Mechlar, they win. So they are, like, on the verge. 
And I don't know, are the Mechlar still at war? Like, it's interesting. We're behind on technology. They're having some weird power spikes, but I think that's because they're retooling their fleets. Like, we haven't seen their stuff in a while. So they've re-upped their ships. Um, they're neutral to us. Uh, they're still at war with the early game. So the enemy of my enemy is a word here. All right, so here we go. They're running. They're invading. How many turns until you get there? Three years. That's a problem. Two years. So how many people are we sending? 33, 39, 32. We're sending 55. They're sending 32, so they're going right back for this. Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense where we have the AI here being just a touch smarter. So we'll see. I may have to blow up Neo VN again. Um but Yeah, that is a very smart strategy that somehow I did not see coming. So it's unfortunate that we have all this good ship building over here that I can't move over here. We have another ship coming in soon. I guess we'll just need to keep sending our reinforcements through and through. And the more planets I blow up, the more I will like cut into their population a little bit. I think that does matter. I mean, that's, that's the neo-human way, isn't it? So I do want to take on that drachma group if I can. Um, ship combat. And obviously we're going to enter this in here because Vo has, um, has some stuff. We don't know who's firing rockets yet, but we do know we have some antimatter torpedoes. I'm just going to end turn here. And these rockets are all going for... Why did this not move? Okay, let's let's back it up. I may have to retreat with these guys. All right. Okay, can we take 30 rockets to the face? Don't think we should. All right, so that means that any support we have is going to go from right here, but it's fine. And then we're just going to eat the hit here because we have five and they died. Cool. So we get to keep our rocket buddy. Everybody's over here. This colony has gone. This is this is going to be a laugh. Yeah. And we're going to get a reputation bonus for doing all this. So you guys get there in two years. All right. So if we move 15 here, I just want to know if I can shoot all these down from orbit. Like we get here in two years... Um, they get here in one year. Yeah, so I think we just sent a bunch of people to die. That sucks a little bit, but... I think our best move right now here is, since we have some backup coming, we're going to be trying to bomb this back out. So how long is, is it going to take you guys to get there? Two years. Two years, two years, one year. Just got to hope for the best at this point. And we are definitely going to change you over to Rocket Buddies. I could build some other kinds of ships. We're going to... Um, we're going to drop a colony ship. Stack down here for now. And we are going to go ahead and have you set a rally point over here because this is going to be a little bit of our cleanup crew all right so do we risk the biscuit i think we do i think we take these three over here and see what we can do against 28 of these not the best way to engage splitting up our forces 
But anything I can do to blow up these colonies right now is a bonus. Like, the more planets I can just outright take from them, the better. Like, right now, this is just 58 people. It doesn't... It doesn't match anything. Unfortunately, if we look at the technology here versus the early game, um, I don't think we're going to do too well with um, even this number of people because they'll have their defender bonus and our penalty. So that's a problem. So let's go ahead and engage battle here at BM. We have 28 here. Fire the torpedoes. And we're going to try to stay down here and fire for some support. So 16 torpedoes versus three of these. Okay, that actually... T oh my god, that actually took out a bunch. Okay, well, um... It's a little bit of a problem, but... We will uh, carry on. Mistakes were made, I guess. We're just going to say, job's done here. So let's try here. Phase Orf times 40. That's a problem. Okay. So we know 128 missiles here is bad news. We've got to retreat. Alright, so we got to keep our doom stacked together. And then I think all we can do here is retreat too. Alright, well, we poked. We know now that that's pretty strong. Strong enough to blow up one of our people out of the sky. We know this is not going to go well for us. I don't think we need to do the drama here. Alright, so deflector shields. Might as well do that. So here's all y'all. These guys are going to reinforce over here. So that's fun. And it's going to take him three years to get there. And for some reason, you are not actually rallying down here. So that's a bit of a mistake. We're just going to try to keep a foothold here. You guys are still keeping stacks of defenses over around here. That's interesting that we have a bunch of tiny little transistor ships. Pretty sure we can't actually see what they have. And it looks like it's tiny transistors over here. They're small. Who knows how deadly they are. But yeah, see, learning, learning things like, hey ho, they're going to start invading me. Yeah, we'll keep the colony ship here and we'll try to just wash this up again. Like, I could send a colony ship for Vo right now. In fact, that might just be a good gambit because we have more colony ships coming. They are, they've already committed to move, so this is fine. And this colony ship is going to take how long? One year to get to Vo. So we can call it Neo Vo. Anything we can do to distract the AI would be good. This is just the churning of war, as it were. We have another mech torp coming in. What's the missile defense on you guys? Uh, class 5 missile defense. So they have they have an advantage, advantage on us on some stuff. So, yeah. Scary. We know, we know these guys... Um, we've got to we've got to play it smart. All right. All right. So build a new colony. You bet. It's snow. Once again, we removed your robot problem, and we have replaced you with tiny humans. Remember that the, the Neo-Humans are small, S-M-O-L, so Neo-Vo. And improved robotic controls 5. Um, we definitely need to upgrade our stuff here. That's good. Hyperspace communications. There we go, that's a really late game tech. New weapon technology. Interesting that only some of these unlock new techs. So I think we're going to go for Hellfire Torpedoes. Alright. So upgrading its missile base. Upgrading, upgrades. 
upgrades. And we're refitting all of our industries now. So it's going to disrupt our shipbuilding for a little bit. Um, we're just going to let the keep, keep the tech train going here. So it looks like we blasted them all out of orbit. That's good. We have 21 over here, which is a little bit less. We have some Marauders. Let's learn about the early game Marauders here, shall we? Do we know anything? Does not appear to be the case. So that might be a huge ship. We'll just have to see. Alright, so you guys get here in two years. You get there in one year. So we're going to loop you guys together and then reinforce and move over here. Like I said, the big thing I got to do is just cut off their basis for, like, building, which means technically what I want to do is just try to wax all their colonies ASAP. I know it makes me sound like the bad guy, but it's okay. So we have, like, five rocket buddies for every one of these. Our production is going to go even faster. We have more rocket buddies moving down here. So 130 early game transports attempting to invade have been destroyed by our defensive forces. New report. Okay, cool. So we actually blasted them out of orbit. So let's do the next turn here. Uh, probably something good. Uh, Neo-humans are better at technology. Go us. Uh, yeah, I'll establish trade. That's fine. And so we have all you guys here. Th these right now are just sitting. So the drachma down on the corner, out in the street. We'll move all you guys over here, and we'll keep the colonies over here for now. Like I said, this is this is a bit of a greed move, keeping five colony ships here. But we want to be able to... Since our plan is to blast colonies and then take them. Like, I've seen what the Zilmi AI does where it goes scorched earth and just bombs out some planets. And I think that's going to be my thing, but I do need to take out their stack here first. So, one year versus one year, pop 30, no missile bases, should be fine. And we're still on atmospheric terraforming. So let's just do a quick view of our colonies here. They're building up industry... Industry, industry. Neo New Earth is already about to go back up to ship design and go into reserve, so that's great. Um, Neo Brax is uh, building here. Neo Brax is such a good planet. I'm really glad you guys are not trying to attack it. All right. So here's a big fight. We are not running from this. So all rocket buddy shots. And this is going to be 147 missiles. We're going to lose we're going to lose a dread star. Not much we can do about it. So let's go ahead and fire all of our antimatter torpedoes here. Okay, so we lost one. And we're going to be okay. All right, so neutron pellet gun first, right? Then the Graviton Beam should be good. Yeah, that cuts through another one. Then Rocket Buddy does that. Then backs it up just a touch. And then hopefully, hopefully we can make this happen. Phasor, down to 11. Turn done. Did we lose another one? Yes, but they lost a lot of theirs. Okay, so we lost two, but we took out a bunch of theirs. I don't know if that's a great trade, but it's the trade we made. Bombard the planet, you bet your ass. All right. And we can steal from the early game. Hooray. Funny that the biotoxin antidote takes that long to build, but it's fine. So first problematic stack is gone. The Marauder is going to be our next issue. So how do we want to do this? We have... Some drachmas coming from over here. We only have three of you left. One year until here. I think we stack here. And then move in. 
Like, I'm not too concerned right now about Neovo. If they want to waste resources taking it, I'm just going to bomb it out. So let's move all of you down here. And we're just going to try to work our way through. And just bomb, bomb, bomb. So we're just going to go ping, ping, ping. We'll see if poking the bear there. Like I said, I can't see the marauders. There we go. It's just a large ship, so not a huge ship. I have a feeling they're trying to build a huge ship that's going to probably be stronger than mine. So we push down as far as we can. We take out as many colonies as we can. We still have to keep a border presence here because... Um, we just need to keep this shit built up. And then you guys are going to keep going, so it's fine. Um, you're getting there in two years. Damn, that nebula is such a harsh penalty. But we'll be okay. All right. So in Pursuit of Peace, it's time to elect some leaders soon. Enter the battle. Okay, are they f really firing missiles at my colony ship? No! They're firing at the sure why not! Oh no! Sure why not somehow lived. I guess because it's only one. So this is a little bit problematic because it means that we can't move you in right away. So we'll just fire like this. Torpedoes. Colony ship going away. So that should take you out. You're gone. Um, early game. Weapons. Scatter pack missile seven, please. Okay. Build a new colony. Yes. We've colonized this once before. We will colonize it again. Uh, let's just look at how bad we lost the tech lottery here. Um, we could have got. Oh, well, scatter pack seven's up here, so I guess we didn't lose it that badly. All right. Well, we're just gonna keep on. Every everybody's teching. So we have four here. Let's just go after iron. This will be fine. You guys can go ahead and move down here and reinforce. We have a little bit of a production delay. So uh, Neo New Earth is going to be fine. We're going to really invest hard into this planet in just a second. But look, they already got... um. Six colonies or six things per year. They've been they've been working on their own. Alright. So let's head into the next season. Alright, so factories, 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 factories. It's a terrible name for an episode. Alright, so they're reinforcing back here. They're just trying to build. By the way, what's our comparison look like right here? We have dropped their fleet strength a little bit. The, and their total power is going down while ours is going up. The one weird side is that a lot of our fleet strength is actually focused over here. From where we have eight of these gargantuan ships building. So I would love to send some of those ships over here. But how long... You know what? Let's try it. How long would a reinforcement flight take? Travel time. Eight years. You know what? Versus this, we can't do that under one, but we might as well. We might as well try. It still goes through the nebula, so if I can get, if I can reinforce our BM, ah, that'll work. So you're running, you're running. So they're trying to get a stack here. So the plan is boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say wayo. I could go down here too. Uh, which one's a... This is an ultra-rich planet, Za. Okay, so, boom. Boom. It's because we need to, like, hit them. Oh, my God. Which one? I keep seeing ultra-rich. That's Neoceros. Za is not ultra-rich. FP, FN. BM. Okay. Quick is ultra-rich. And it has 69 missile bases, so that's going to be an issue that we may have to tackle another time. But if we can kind of just 
get the rest of their stuff, I think we'll be okay. Uh, meanwhile, we are not being backstabbed yet. If we look here, I want to see what the Mechlar has to say. They're, they, they're relaxed towards us. Oh, they're at war with the gearheads. Finally. The gearheads. Are we spying on them? Yes. The Unas we are not spying on. That needs to change. I don't even know what we have on them, if anything, but... Let's see what happens down here next year. Alright, so ship combat at Fiend. Sure, why not? Missiles away. Rocket buddies. Torps away. Torp, torp. Um, colony ship look good. So the rocket buddies can kind of fire with impunity right now. That's a lot of missiles. That's still a lot of missiles. But it barely scratched us. Okay, cool. Now the rocket buddies are in trouble. Okay, all the things. Okay, so pew pew and run like hell. Hopefully we can take it out this turn. Hopefully now. Maybe. Y'all have to retreat. There we go. So they somehow... They lost a little bit of population, a little bit of factories, and a little bit of bombing it out. Um, obviously we're going to bombard the planet again. So that's gone. Mechlar, construction... Weapons. That's fine. Build a new colony. Yes. That always seems to be the plan, doesn't it? So... Neo Iron! Dominion welcomes the assistance against early game species. Well, not like y'all really needed it, so... So right now, they have like a little digit too. Is that just a scout thing? They have all this stuff down here. I wonder where the Sakura is. I'd love to like get a speed thing over here. So rocket buddies are running away. They're actually running away. And we can't move them over here as well. So I guess we take it to Lee. Well, how many turns does it take? Because if they're going to go over here and it's one year, we may as well fly and reinforce at BM and then work back at Lee. That seems okay. Looks like we have our first line of planets good here, so I'm just going to let them build up. And we're going to go ahead and go fleets. And uh, how do we do this? Right click. Send transports down the Neo VN. And we'll just send them all together. All right, so anything we can do just to consolidate our gains right now would be lovely. And meanwhile, Neo QR, you're the you're the one that needs some investment. So let's invest. Neo QR can potentially have a shit ton of uh, stuff. So that would be great. All right, so you guys that are just hanging out, let's hit BM. Two years. Hopefully our rocket buddies will catch up. We don't want to poke the bear with E until we have to. The Hyperion. Now that looks like a huge ship. But it is flying to SJ or SI. So that's telling me that if we look over here... Because the Hyperion, yeah, that's a huge ship. Only travel speed 4. If they're flying away from everybody that's invading them over here... I'm pretty sure that means that some of these are going to turn Cyan soon. All right, well, let's uh, hit the next turn button again. All right, early game. 
Scatter pack missiles or battle computer mark six. We'll take this. And atmospheric ter terraforming. Doom virus? I don't think so. It converts standard and fertile plants to guys, doubling population growth. Or improved terraforming, 60. I think this is an important enough tech that we take it. I mean, terraforming 60 is good, but all right. Now I guess the question becomes colonies. We have a bunch of hostile places. And one thing I got to figure out is how do we actually go about terraforming some of this? So I guess that's something where, once again, it's part of the game that I didn't deal with the last time I played this. Um, mainly because I was playing as the rock people and they don't actually care. So, like, let's go to Neo Hanai for a second. Obviously, shipbuilding is not it. This is this is the dumb part of me where I'm just like systems because we do already have the tech for it, and this is something where someone's gonna just dunk on me later and say, "Hey, yo, you should be able to do this." But converting hostile environments to normal environments, we like for instance, we want to do that here. For just per ejemplo, Neo Terra. We want to do it here. So if we look at Neo Terra, can rename it. Eh, well, I don't want to waste everybody's time here. Ecological data, military, colony can be adjusted, tax, transfer funds. So if we turn off this for a second. Options, it says soil. So, if we look at the tech one more time here. Let's see here. If it's already if it's already doing it, like we have growth, we have soil here. We'll see in just a second. I think maybe there's nothing I have to do extra because it's already happening because the auto governors are much better at this game than I am. Like the tech is atmospheric terraforming. Advanced soil enrichment is technically the other thing, but we'll pay attention. We'll pay attention to this for a second and see what happens all right so y'all are going here it's gonna be a turn rocket buddies can go over here so that's gonna be a turn and then we can reunite y'all are doing your ecology into the reserves so I assume we're gonna stop building here for just a minute while we uh, fancy up everything here which is fine let's hit the next year button and see what happens all right so ship combat all right and fire away fire away don't know why we had to swiggity swaggity like that we just ran into our own missiles. Congratulations. So this is Rocket Buddy, right? Free RocketBuddyReport.com. Okay, so four. That's not a lot of damage to the mech torp here. All right, so we'll bomb it out, maybe a little bit. So still not a lot of damage. All right, so their their base is grass, and uh, neo farts. Absolutely, we destroy it. 
Absolutely we build a new colony. How many times can I make fart jokes in a video? If you've ever watched me play before anything, you know that answer is a lot. So Neo BM, congratulations. You risk expulsion from benevolent grace as your continued espionage acts by being framed. Well, good luck fighting through the mech lord to get to me, man. So Neo BM has been colonized. Congratulations. All right, has terraform normal environment with the standard growth rate. That's good. Terraform to a fertile environment, the standard growth rate. So that's interesting. Okay, so it did that all at once. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to do anything else. So we'll see how this growth goes. Because right now we can absolutely... We can send some transports to the OBM. I don't even think we need to sink them. We can just send them. And obviously Neo Yari has something else as well. Let's send transports from you down here. It's going to take 14 years, but it's fine. Because anything we can do to start bolstering this area, since it doesn't seem that they are that keen on counterattacking us. Although I'm not exactly sure about the uh, Mechlar and what they're thinking. So... We got you here. Neobrax is still looking very Braxy. Um, Quick's just going to be a pain in the ass because that's a lot of missile bases. But if they're just building missile bases instead of other shit to shoot me with, um, that's a fair trade. All right, let's go to Lee. Maybe we could go to two, but I think Lee's fine. And then... I guess we send the rocket buddies down here. Maybe try to meet up at FP or EIA. Then I guess what else we're going to do here is send a few more colony ships out. Since once again, what we are doing, what our literal plan is, we are the neo-human locusts. We are just eating, eating our early game robots. We appreciate your contribution to the galaxy. Also, please die. Also, while I'm here, Sakura, can I see you? Apparently we can. Um, I don't think y'all have any technology I want. Mechlar clearly does. The humans are out of range. Um, yeah, let's uh, espionage. That's also espionage. Espionage, espionage. Technically, I don't need to worry about it against you guys. So I'm just going to hide for now. I know I just said LOL, whatever. And espionage is okay on these people because it's been long enough. Cool. Where are the lizard friends? Oh, they're right here. Okay, so we can... Status report. Nothing yet. Next turn we'll know. Because if we can just take out a bunch of these, I'll be happy to eat up this whole tail of stuff down here. Like, if we look right here, I want to see our overall here. Um, status. Our population is not where everybody else's is, but I want to see if I can become competitive here. Clearly, we started behind in the game. Um, but I would love to move forward here. So let's hit next turn. High Council. Vote summary. 44 votes. 40 votes. 25, 18, 16... So we're, they're at war with each other. We're going to abstain again. Um, and it could be the computer decides somebody's going to win. We're going to abstain. Ninety-three, I'm a little scared. All right, so nobody's won yet. And once again, if we look at the Mechlar, are they going to be pissed for us not voting? 
Look at this. They're they're obviously doing some ship redesigns, but we're we're actually starting to grow a bit. Like we have a really slow logarithmic curve, but it's starting. Okay, Sakura, what you got? They are stagnant. We can clearly eat them. So my plan now, we can let these guys get destroyed. We have a whole tale of a galaxy that we're going to claim as our own. Now it says two missile bases, shield level 10, so that's a little bit of a problem. And Neo FN, you know, we could do it like this. Send transports. Just send 33, just to, just to try to make it look pretty good here. 18 transports here. So we're just trying to reinforce at this point. We got it. We got a lot of people coming here. So let's hit the next year button. Two more colony ships, ship combat. Let's see what we got. Sure, why not? Is probably not going to be able to punch through this. Rocket Buddy might be able to punch through some torpedoes. Our Mech Torp is going to be our best bet. Colony ship, we got to watch out for. So, so it's 36 rockets. So let's see, how much damage are these 42 rockets going to do? Not a significant amount. And now the Rocket Buddies are in trouble again. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> All right, so I guess we present a more juicy target and the game's just like, okay. So we're going to have to retreat our Rocket Buddies again, which is fine. That's a huge bombing. And I think we actually beat all the missile bases. And um, I'm pretty sure we have to retreat again with you guys. So there we go. Rocket buddies are kiting buddies today. So that's exciting. Hopefully we don't get jumped in two turns by this stack on A or E. So bombard again. It's actually not dead. Okay, well. Cylons, we got it. Okay, force fields. Planetary 15. Mercurite missiles. Um, I thought we were working on intergalactic stargates. You know, I kind of like construction here. It'll let us build bigger ships. But pretty much we have our pick of everything. So let's do construction. Awesome. Perfect. And from the Mechlar. This is like an amazing way to end here. Um, cloak and device and planetary 15 shields. Um, uh, do we go planetary? We might. Um, two of those are kind of duds though. Uh, we'll go weapons. Hercular missiles. Pretty good. All right, so we are going to um, hide our spies here now because we don't want any more of a diplomatic incident. Um, so, yeah, that'll be good. I think Neoceros. We can probably just start moving to like a plan of 30 missile bases. And let's do the same for Neobrax. Don't know why it's going to take 60 years to do that, but we'll see. Alright, Neoceros, 88 years. We have some money around. Two years, that's more like it. Alright. I could have spent that on my new colonies, but I spent it here instead. So we're, it's the level 10 shield that's making this harder to bomb out. So that means we're going to go a little bit slower now, but it's okay. Um, we could potentially try to flood them out with stuff, but I think, I think this is okay. Let's go into the next year. Two more of these. 
We got a battle. Okay. Two of you. All right. Funny that they're not firing on our colony ships. And these missiles are going to hurt, but I don't think it's going to be enough to take me out. All right. So, yeah, they died. Died before I took a shot. Bomb the planet. Let's see if this wipes it out. It did. And build a new colony. Neo Lee. No, no music here, but we put Neo in front of everything because it makes it cool. All right. So Neo Lee has been colonized. Hooray. We got a lot of planets. We got 18 of you shits coming for here. Got three of you shits coming for here. How many turns until you get here? Three years. My worry is that 18 of you all is enough to destroy this. So I think at this point... It's probably a better idea if we fall back in defense. Like, the nice thing about dominating this so far is we can go back to building rocket buddies now. Nice thing about dominating this is that we, um, we can kind of pick and choose. We've been building everything really hard so far. And you can already see here that um, we have some ingress by um, uh, our sign buddies as well. So as long as I can kind of get to the eastern side, that's fine. But I gotta hold. I gotta hold my BM. That's that's the word of the day. So I'm gonna drop you down here. Except for maybe you. So let's uh, take you all down. And let's send you over to iron. Let's send you up here. And rocket buddies are going to go over here. Maybe we do a sneaky sneak. It only has one missile base. I think we may be able to bomb this out. All right. I know I'm running a little long on time and I don't want to go too much longer, but I want to see how this resolves. So we're about to get 20 people here finally. So that's good. We have our build line continuing to go in. For all the early game shit that they have, they certainly didn't have like they have one ultra rich planet to start with, but they didn't get they didn't get a bunch of stuff either, at least that I can see so far. Um So let's go into the next year. More rocket buddies. Ship combat. So we got one of you here this time. Okay, we're not getting fired on yet. So let's turn done here. So that's one, and that barely scratched us. Still barely a scratch in the paint. So we bomb it out. Okay, it's going to take a few turns, but we'll be able to uh, take this place on. And look, we have um, we have our next counterattack, as it were. So where are y'all sending transports to? Oh, wait. Okay, first off, let's cancel that. So y'all are going for Neo Lee. And that's 16 drachmas. Oh! Oh! Oh, I see. So we have a bit of an evac situation going on here. All right. So three years for here, two years for here. Um, you guys are not the best stack I've ever had. We may have to um, take on these guys a little bit later, but Neo Lee, like I said, the more that we can force them, harass them, and take their stuff over time, 
the better. It's going to take them time to build up shields and all that, and by that time, we can get more ships down here. Like, here is another one. We can actually go ahead and send you down here, because I think that seems like a fun idea. You guys can just keep reinforcing down here. We're going to have a good day. We're going to have a good BM. It's all, it's all looking all right here. So I think this is a pretty good status quo place to stop. We have some texts that are still going on. Um, Intergalactic Stargates, ooh, can't pronounce that, is next. And then we'll see what other technologies we can potentially unlock. Um, we are probably at a point where we could throw out another ship redesign if we wanted to. Right now we're being carried by some huge ships, really leveraging our uh, technology stuff here. So, But one thing we do have, I think... Okay, we, we're waiting for the intergalactic stargates. We are going to need to build those so that we can support up here and down here. Because I am tired, tired of slow shipping. But that's the way it is. This is Asher with, uh, let's look at the status screen one more time. Remember when this game was starting out so poorly? I'm in third place now. That's very firmly where I should be. I'm actually ahead of the Cylon and fleet strength. I'm moving on up in population. I'm moving on up in planets. We're moving up in production. This game's going in the right direction to the point where... If I felt a little crazy, we could totally backstab the Cylon, maybe, possibly, eventually. And that would be quite something. I don't know if I'm going to live long enough with the two major superpowers going on, but considering how this game started and considering the Alkari are about to be just uh, street meat for the gearheads, I think it's fair to say that a third place finish, considering how poorly I started this game, is just fine. So, yeah, let's... uh. Let's go for the tail down here, as clearly these lizards are hiding. But that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher with uh, Remnants of the Precursors. It is coming out in full release almost a little over a month away. Very exciting, the 1.0 version. So this is still, um, I guess you call it beta. It's going to be available for free upon release. It's a remake of Master of Orion 1. I'm having fun. I hope you are too. Thanks for watching a little bit of a war episode. We actually did gain some ground, and we are... Standing to gain some more ground soon, but that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Take care.